In announcing the NEC decision, Marape in the statement said, the money will be made available to assist in COVID-19 drug research, procurement of sample drugs, and development of research laboratories plus trial of drugs if approved by the health department. He said the release of this statement now completes the entire process in as far as him signing the NEC decision. Again, he maintained his stand that this pursuit to research COVID-19 drugs was a genuine one by local scientists and he will continue to support Papua New Guineans through a state-sanctioned process. He said the company, New Guinea Biomed's name, had to be mentioned in the NEC paper and decision because they felt their intellectual properties needed to be secured. Marape further stated that the fund envelope approved is not for the company, but the program that will be properly supervised by relevant state authorities. He adds this decision will not give away a check of 10.2 million kina to the researching firm, but for the entire work to start, and that will involve collaboration between the health department, UPNG, PNG IMR and others. And if the medical and scientific community through peer review gives OK, he says the next phase of work will proceed and that will involve drugs procurement, laboratory mix and trial among others. Marope says all doctors and scientists should take this as an opportunity to pull together to look into this area of science and research as a pursuit of economic value too. He adds the country has been hosting conferences and symposiums for 45 years. It is now time to move into the next phase for actual discoveries of cure. The Prime Minister believes PNG has enough intellectual capacity in the country for such a pursuit and it may not be just for COVID-19 but any other human and animal medicines or plant pesticides into the future. Meantime of the 10.2 million kina, bulk of the fund will be channeled towards rebuilding of science faculty laboratories in UPNG for this work and future research. Ruth Rungula, National MTV News.